you know, I thought, you know, we, we sustained the effort, you know, from start to finish. And uh, they put a lot of pressure on you. You can't let your guard down. But I, I like the way we played. I thought we played very unselfish offensively. And uh, it was a good win. Not, not really. You know, that was probably the the biggest thing. You know, it was just a you know a little bit of the rotation. I thought, and and the, the same thing. Like uh, you know, the game before, you know, they should, we we had the bad stretch in the third quarter, and when a team makes nine threes, they could blow a game open on you, and they did. And so, not having that, and you know, trusting each other, I thought guys you know, move the ball so there was rhythm. And that was the, the biggest thing is just keep making plays for each other. Uh, why'd you go uh, over there? Just where we were, um, back to back. It's, you know, it's been a lot of games where if you add, you know, the entire November in, five back to backs. So you just get Deuce in there and see what it looked like. So that was just the one, one game thing? Yeah, just we'll see where we are, yeah. No, just coach's decision, you know. I, and it's more like rotation. I wanted to get it to where it's a nine-man rotation and worked a lot better. So uh, just be ready. I apologize for uh, Jason yesterday asking about this, the traveling stuff. Yeah, I think I'm blaming you. <laughs> But uh, was there anything in particular that's happened over the basketball games with that? Uh, you know, obviously there's an emphasis on it by the league. And so, you know, the, and the, the thing is, and again, I want to look at the film. I think it's good for the most part, except I think you have to be consistent in the way in which you call it. And so you can't do it for one team. And if, if it's tight for one team, it's got to be tight for the other team. Uh, yes, yes. Do you think some of the polls were not accurate today? Some of the travel? No, because look, I'm all for enforcing the rules. I am, and I know. Like, and I thought we had a good crew. I thought they, and they're being told to call it a certain way, and so I think I know what the intent is. I think that is good, but it can't be. And you, you can't pick and choose it. And it just, I want to see a consistency to it. If I see the consistency, I, there will not be any complaining so you're, by me. You're huh? I don't know. I want to look at the film before I, you know, but that, that's the biggest thing. It's like there were, I don't know, someone said 13 travels in the game, right? And so, you know, if we're calling it that, and, and look, you know, like if, in FIBA, they tell you, like, the ball's got to be out of your hand when you lift your pivot foot. So it's pretty, pretty, cut and dry how they call it right so if we're calling it like that which is the the way it's intended to be called call it like that you know giving guys three four steps I'm, I'm not for that I don't think anyone is you know but you know they got a, the referee's got a tough job I understand that but you, you know the in my, in my thing, I don't really care if it's tight or loose I just want it the same way for both teams No, not really. What you just more more consistent, you know, play tougher with the lead. You know, part of it that is probably, you know, less people in the rotation too. You know, so that gives you better rhythm. So that's part of the reason why we went we went to nine. You done that because of the West Coast trip? Yeah, and we played well that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, the tough thing is, like, you, you got to make a decision, okay, uh, who are the nine? And there's guys that are deserving to be in there. And, you know, you, you're trying to stretch it a little bit to see until there's more clarity to it. And then once there is and you have the information, now you got to make the decision. So that's what we did. And we're always going to do what we think is best for the team. So I want to prioritize that. And that doesn't mean it's permanent. It just means that's where we are right now. Whatever gives us the best chance to win, that's what we're going to do. How much of uh, the Raiders not playing tonight had to do with just as specifically as defensive efforts and maps? Game? Yeah, you know, I, and again, I don't want to put anything on one guy. I don't, I don't believe in that. You know, I think, you know, the, the big thing is take, okay, take, you take a hard look at the game. 
and you say, okay, what could, what can we do differently? Uh, what can make it better? Okay, if if you win by 20, you're probably not making any changes. You know, you're probably looking at it trying to clean a couple things up. But if it if it doesn't work, then you're looking at okay, let's what what are the possibilities? How how can we inject something different? And so. That's what we did, and, and to your point, like on the, on the West Coast trip, we, we got down to nine, and then it, it gave us a better rhythm in the game. So that's part of it. And you know, I liked where we were offensively and defensively tonight, even though it was a low-scoring game. I, I don't really care if we win scoring a lot of points or scoring a few points as long as we have more than them. So would you like to stick with nine? For right now, that's what we're doing, yeah. When, when certain guys are struggling, There, but, but he's basically getting those same sorts of, you know, mostly just catching cheap threes and all that. Is there any incentive to throw him in a pick and roll every once in a while, try to get him? Yeah, well, see, the thing is, is and that's where you're trying, you're, that's how you're trying to play. You're playing a lot in transition, most like, and we're the same, like, we're trying to get a score early in the clock. So running the floor, drags, double drags, you know, pistol action that sort of thing and flying into the pick and rolls and the end of offense, you know, you, you can keep going. So, um, but his activity is same thing. The more active he is, I thought he played well tonight and I want him to build off that. He's open shoot, you know, I don't want, you know, as long as you shoot it well and it's the right shot, you're open, you're reading the close out well, you're, you're down and ready when the ball comes, you got good rhythm off it. And that's like, so what we talked about is creating good rhythm for everybody. So it's not, you know, and you, you, if you, if the people are switching and you're holding on to the ball, if you, you turn it into that type of game, it's hard to get rhythm. You know, like you can drive, like the advantage is you got a big on a small, drive the ball, hit the paint, and then make your read, and then spray it out, and then you go drive pass, pass, and then now you got rhythm. Last time you guys played Cleveland, they, when you played there, they were on fire from three. Yeah. Tonight, especially with the guards, like Mitchell and Garland, Yeah, I thought better into the ball. Uh, some they missed, you know, that they, they we, you know, they out there. Love got real hot on us, and I thought you know, I think we going into the fourth quarter there. We had a ten point lead, uh, and same thing. Like I, sometimes you lose rhythm if you're playing, you know, too many guys, and it's it's better to make a tough decision and get where everyone has rhythm. Both great, both great. Yeah, and I think that, and they know that's their role, and they embrace it, and they're good at it, and it's critical. Uh, that's a big part of winning, you know. And I still think Quentin will get there offensively. He's, you know, still finding his way. That's going to come, but his defense is terrific. Was it, how much of a difference is having him, you know, Donovan at 38 in that first game? How much of a difference was it having him out there against Donovan? Well, good. Uh, you know, if, the thing is, is like those guys are very difficult to guard individually, but Quentin has great feet, he has strength, anticipation, and you're going to have to work. You know, you, and it's not that you, you, he's impossible to score against because those guys, their greatness is they, they got the ability to, you can guard them great and they got the ability to make, you know, so, but if you make them work, and over the course of the game, you you know, like you're making them work for those points. Maybe that takes its toll over the course of the game because there's a physicality to Quentin too. On every play, you know, he's all out. What has allowed quickly to grow so much as a defender since his rookie season? Probably just you know knowing the league a lot better. You know, he's the thing about Quick is he's a student of the game. I think once you play against someone, you know, ten times. 15 times, you know him a lot better, right? When you play against a team, you know, 10 times, you know him a lot better. So I think he, that that helps a lot. He's he, He's got good anticipation. He's got good feed. He's gotten a lot stronger. I think that's helped him as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs>